Hi everyone, in this video we will have a look at memory corruption issue in DIVA that caused a DOS attack. So before I talk about memory corruption issue, first of all we will talk about DOS attack or DOS. So DOS attack stands for denial of service. So simply put DOS means making something unavailable for other users. So just for example we are assessing a website or we are assessing a web server and we want to make that website unavailable for other users so that other users can't use the same website then what we will do we will actually DOS that website. So there are various ways to do that but first of all we will concentrate over here. So you can see here the DOS attack happens when user supplied input is given more than the memory allocated to that application. So just for example if there is one application and that application is actually receiving 20 bytes of user input. So what if, if we add or if we enter 30 bytes user input, so what will happen? So that may be results in overwrite the memory fragments because the extra user supplied input actually results in overwriting the memory fragment that may result in causing unexpected errors in the application and that may disrupt the normal flow of application and this issue actually arises or gives the results of stack overflow or a heap overflow sometimes this issue leads to the remote code execution vulnerability. So now let's talk about this issue in DIVA. So you can see here that our DIVA application. So this issue DOS attack in DIVA is actually named as input validation issues part 3. So in this issue or in this challenge what we have to do we somehow have to add something malicious over here and then we somehow have to crash this application. So we will see that how we can do that by adding the input that is more than the memory allocated to this application. So we will see that how we can DOS this application or crash this application in our system. Now let's have a look at last issue in Deva. So let me open Deva application and the last issue is input validation issues part 3. So let me open it up. So it looks like a very cool issue but it's very interesting. So our objective is that this is a missile launch app. So what we have to do, we don't have to launch any missile rather than we have to spread love. Yeah, that's a very good message. Or what we have to do, we have to DOS the damn thing. So what it means, have you heard about this term before DOS? So if you don't know about this term, so DOS stands for denial of service. So simply put, DOS means making anything unavailable for any user. Just for example, if I am using this system or I am using a particular website and I want to make that website unavailable for any another user, then what I will do, I will just simply DOS that website means I will just do a DOS attack in order to shut down that website. Now what we have to do is instead of launching a missile, we have to add something malicious which would eventually lead this application to crash or we have to simply crash this application and then we have to find out the root cause of that crash. So now let's try to play with this application. So here you can see that it's asking us for entering a launch code. So let's enter launch code. You can just write down anything. Let me click over here and you will see that we got this message access denied. Let's try to add something different. So just for example, an Android developer has added a filter that a user can add only 20 characters in this launch code space. So what would happen if user enters more than 20 characters? So where that additional characters will be stored if that the memory is not available. So that issue may result in classic memory corruption vulnerability where the memory fragments or the memory parts will get corrupted and then eventually the, our application will be crashed. So this is our main motive that we have to add a input, a very large input which will eventually lead or take this application to halt. So just for example, let's add here 10 characters or 10 digits and let's see how this application responds. So let me click over here, push the red button. You will see that we got the same error. Let's go back and let's try to add something long string. Let me click over here now, push the red button. You will see that we got this message again, access denied. Okay, no worries. Let's add some more integers or characters. Click on push the red button. Okay, we got the same message access denied. Okay, let's try one more time. And let's add some more characters and digits. Now click on this button, push the red button. You will see that eventually our application is crashed. Unfortunately, Diva has stopped and it has restarted this application. 
you can see here that our Android phone has restarted this application. So this is how we can abuse input validation issues in any application if user supplied input is not validated. So either the user application must be validated or filtered with the particular special characters or even developer have to add a particular filter that a user can't enter more than 20 characters or more than 10 characters. So otherwise this could result in memory corruption vulnerability. So you can see here that if we add one more time a long red and string and if you click on push the red button our application will be crashed. Now what we have to do, we have to find out the root cause. So how we can find the root cause by using ADB logcat because if we analyze the logs then we will be able to figure out that what actually happening at the backend. So right now you can see here that my Santuco VM operating system is up and running and let me gonna write here ADB logcat and here you can see the logs but before going further let's find the process ID of div application so that we can only gather the logs of that application. Let me gonna write here diva and here is the PID. So let me copy it up and now let's use adb logcat and now let's grab for particular PID okay now let's go back to our Jenny motion let's go back to that challenge and now let's add here any long weird random input so you will see here that as soon as I click on push the red button we will see lot of errors in ADB logcat so you can see lot of errors now let's try to find out that what's the exact root cause So you can see here that here we got a fatal signal error and let me gonna scroll up and here you can see that it's throwing some errors like the memory is not free you can see that all the memory is consumed because we are adding more than the allowed characters So here you can see that we got lot of errors and most of them are of memory errors and that are causing the concurrent issues. So this is how we can abuse input validation issues by adding more than allowed input in any application. So in this video we talked about that what is DOS attack and how memory corruption vulnerability works and how we can abuse input validation issues by adding a long weird random string. So thanks for watching this video.